It's rush hour at Thierry Marx's two-star restaurant. That day, on his tasting menu, the customers can choose between caramelized pigeon, a clementine scallop, I'm from the 16th, what with the man, a foie gras served with a delicious scallop, or perhaps a creamy and rich foie gras with some delightful ginger confit grapes. But they can also discover an exceptional meat, the priciest meat in the world. Up to 1,000 euros per kilo, one euro per gram. Thoughts when seeing that? I think about the work of the breeder. It's a breeder who will create a work of art. No. You don't need a knife at all. See, I'm not even pressing the knife. First. It's a game of textures. First thing, since it's super greasy, fries quickly. So what we have here is this crunchiness. Not quite a caramelization, but this delightful crunch. Then you get that soft, melting feeling in your mouth. See, the meat's gone as it's completely melted. This high fashion meat, which he enhances with a secret sauce, it's Kobe beef. She comes from Japan. Thierry Marx added it to his menu starting last July. Hmm? Because previously, the Japanese authorities refused to sell abroad what the country considers to be a national treasure. 9,600 kilometers from Paris, an hour from Kobe, Japan. Kyuko Tanaka starts his day at 5 in the early morning. He is a dedicated breeder. To enter here, you must go through this disinfectant shower and this shoe bath. And once that's done, we can go inside. So we had to comply with the foot bath and the disinfectant shower. Mr. Tanaka also required us to arrive in Japan a week before the start of the report, a quarantine to avoid any risk of contaminating these cows. It's the first time in three years that we're giving a tour of this farm. We're giving you a special tour. We were not allowed to wear perfume either. Nothing should disturb the routine. The well-being of these jewels on legs. Mr. Tanaka owns one of the largest farms in the entire country. 200 animals are spread across four barns like this one. At first glance, these black cows appear to look like any ordinary cow. They generally weigh around 600 kilos. They all originate from the exact same breed and region. They call them the Tajima. But for Kyuko Tanaka and her father Yunpei, a breeder for 48 years. Did you already clean up there? Tajimas are more than what most consider simple everyday cows, possessing qualities that elevate them. It's the same for men. You can't eat with pleasure when your house is dirty. It's breakfast time for these dear Tajimas. They are given a homemade pure cereal cocktail, with the main ingredient being barley, in flakes, as it's considerably easier to digest. The day breaks over the Yogo region, in the center west of the archipelago, with Mrs. Tanaka, 68 years old. There are three of them working full time, sharing the farm work. In the role of the atmosphere setter that day, Kyuko's son. Every single day at 10, I play classical music for them to relax. Gentle wake up for the Tajima, who are coming out of their first nap of the day. On the ceiling, there are also fans, and even a radiator for the little calves, who have trouble regulating their temperature. 
The cow spa also offers a weekly massage session, and the Tajima don't need to be asked twice. He went out because he knows I'm going to brush him, and you'll see on his face that he finds it enjoyable. It's good for his metabolism, for his stomach, and so he eats better. It's almost like a treatment, actually. Like a big cat. The part he's currently touching is the one that meat lovers prefer most. This is the sirloin. It's the top piece. Below is the tenderloin, and here in the middle, the Chateaubriand. The Tanaka family also offers them the finest cow mattresses, made from a mix of rice leaves and wood, ideal for wanting to stay in bed. And it's better that way, since it's the fat intermingling with the muscles that gives Kobe beef its uniqueness. Any activity is prohibited. The Tajimas move from one shed to another based on age, shifting as they continue to mature. Only the calves are allowed to enjoy the open air. In this small pen, the affection that the Tanaka family has for their Tajima cattle has often been rewarded. This here is my most recent medal. A medal awarded this year by the emperor himself to honor a lifetime of dedicated work. It all started in the 60s. Yunpei was 26 when he sold his first cow. Afterwards, he enters competitions. He wins several of them with his son Kyuko, never far behind. Today, it's Yuninji who is striking nearly the same pose. Want to be a breeder? <laughs> Her grandson is six years old and for now has other dreams in mind. He really likes baseball. If this is the path he chooses, it's very good. If you don't love this job, you can't do it. The Tanaka family works 365 days a year. They produce about 50 Tajima. Half will achieve the renowned Kobe beef label, the top quality designation. To obtain it, you must first prove the nobility of the animal's lineage. It's the animal's print, similar to a human fingerprint, but from its snout. And over there, it's his own parents. And the mother's parents. Finally, the mother's parents. Finally, etc. Here are the fathers. There are, in fact, just 12 breeding bulls for all of Japan. 12 beasts that belong to the Kobe Beef Producers Association. Selected for their genetic quality and kept in a secret location, rarely filmed. Here are some images, specifically of their sperm preserved in liquid nitrogen. There are in stock, 130,000 samples. The Tajima Kyuko will sell today weighs 670 kilograms. She is two and a half years old, six months older than most other cows. Kyuko Tanaka will only know after the slaughterhouse if her Tajima will become the queen of Japanese meats. As always, Kyuko Tanaka follows a ritual. In front of this hotel, he thanks his cows for their sacrifice. That day, there's also the election for the best breeder in the region. He hopes to win the title for the fourth time in a row. Initially, the carcasses are thoroughly examined by a panel of official experts from the Kobe Meat Producers Association.
collecting it. On this piece, there's not enough marbling. There are few. Which actually means more marbling means tastier meat. But thick marbling just turns into fat during cooking. For Kobe beef, it's the delicate marbling that truly enhances the flavor of the meat. Hello, Dad. Unfortunately, today wasn't great. I've had a tough day. The title of best breeder has also changed hands. The yellow label, hail Mr. Mizoguchi. There, it's hung up. Great. I'm ashamed to say it, but it's a beautiful piece. For six months now, with export opening up, demand has increased and prices are skyrocketing. In the auction room, there is a new face. An Italian on a scouting trip, Riccardo Giraudi, is one of the three people to import Kobe beef into Europe. He came to understand exactly how market prices are set. Here is the first batch, number 1318. Let us begin with the bidding. Starting price per kilo for the farmer, 14 euros. Using this remote control that buyers carefully hide under the tables. The bids go up to 21 euros per kilo, which is 7,500 euros per carcass. Next. Today, the farmer typically receives on average 30 euros per kilo for his produce. And when selling a Charolais in France, a farmer only gets 4 euros per kilo. The top scoring carcass sells for 14,000 euros, or 35 euros per kilo. The biggest buyer at the auction is smiling broadly and cheerfully. Could you kindly tell me in detail exactly what it is that you mentioned just now? Are you the one who bought the Charolais cattle? Yes. Look, I told you so. Mr. Murakami got the champion indeed. He has a microphone. And he suggests we go see the carcass. He'd like us to go see the carcass now. And Mr. Murakami's wishes are orders. He is Japan's Mr. Meat. He alone purchases 30% of the national production. He runs a company that generates nearly one and a half billion euros in annual revenue. Today's gem is a wonderfully refined and extraordinarily exquisite blend of muscle and just the right amount of fat. For us Europeans, the hardest thing to understand is that the fattier and more marbled it is, the more expensive it gets. We still can't grasp this at home. Here we see fat, we run away. Here they see fat, they analyze it, they fall in love with it, they value it much more, and they make it a way of life. That's what makes it special for me. By 14,000 euros. Mr. Murakami plans to resell the champion's carcass for 41,000 euros. In short, triple your bet on this one. Last year, 4,600 animals were sold. The export quota was set at 1,000 heads. Ricardo Giraudi secured 250 for Europe. It's almost a crowning moment in his career. I've always heard about it since I was born. I mean, I've been doing this job for 15 years, but my father has been doing it for 60 years. It's always been a myth for us, but we've never had access to this product. It's still the creme de la creme that can exist. And it's like... Selling wines and having the exclusive rights to Dom Perignon for another country. So it's exactly the same thing. And like a fine wine, you have to know how to showcase it. Ricardo Giraudi comes to learn more at the renowned Kobe Butcher Shop, which is situated in the upscale and elegant district of the city. You see how well it's presented, how finely it's sliced, how elegantly it's served. Actually, it's a butcher shop, but to me, it's more like a jewelry store. In Europe, we don't know how to do that. It's not just meat. They have unmatched respect for the product. I've never seen anything like it. Look, we've got boxes. We have to buy the box to present the meat. Have you ever seen that in France? We are at Kobe's Grand Dome. 
Each time, the bovine goldsmith, the butcher, has his photo displayed next to the meat he has cut. The Japanese tend to consume Kobe beef in this specific form for special occasions, usually once or twice a year. Here too, it's a luxury product. A kilogram of isti filet in Japan is sold for 440 euros. Who gave it? The public. So you have to imagine that if, with the import duties that Europe imposes on us, the distribution in Europe, we should hit 700 euros in France, public butcher price. That means between 1,000 and 1,200 euros at the restaurant. So it's huge. In the back room of the butcher shop, the professional cutter, Mr. Oya, meticulously carves his piece. Two millimeter thick by knife for the most prestigious clients. Priced per gram, Mr. Oya had better really not mess this up. To cut an even slice easily, don't go straight. Apply some finesse. And since Kobe beef fat melts at a very low temperature, you have to hold it firmly. Otherwise, it moves when you cut it. It took me years of training to properly slice a piece. This 2.5 centimeter thick beef fillet is savored on site. The butcher shop doubles as a restaurant and hotel. A truly unique concept worldwide that could possibly inspire Italian businessmen. Riccardo Giraudi plans to open a place in Paris soon. Convinced that haute couture meat will attract a luxury clientele ready to spend 200 euros for a steak.